Hello, people of Atlas, and welcome back to Atlas. Um, back after a while. Um, it, it feels like a month, maybe, maybe more, because there was a server wipe, and uh, oh, we had to get back and do everything. So I did a little stream where I um, accidentally didn't make it public, <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, it was just me playing by myself, just getting things ready. We built a little sco schooner. No. Yeah, schooner. We built a schooner just to get to our island back um, over here. Let's just go here and see Atlas. Yeah, so we spawned on this island, I think. I think this is a another one of these. Anyway, spawned here, built a little... It's a medium shipyard. And uh, then... Or small shipyard, sorry. And then we just made our way back to Leviton's Reach just to see what's going on. So, yeah, I've been busy. Um... Also been taming some things. I mean, this is what we got now. So, so far, we're back here. I put this platform here because I thought we'll maybe do an episode just where we start a base off here. I mean, I like I like the platform. It looks pretty great. Just look at this. I just brought it out an extra wood, wooden ceiling out here. And uh, it looks fantastic. Might do some stairs down there to the the large shipyard deck. Let's go check that out first because... The previous episode that I started, but I couldn't finish because there was a server wipe. We started building our brig. And here it is. I, th I think it's done. I think we just need a crew and we can go. So, yeah, let's have a look at it. Um, I put two weight sails and I think this is a handling sail in the front. I didn't want to do speed sails because they don't look pretty to me. I mean... These sails aren't the same shape all the way through, which I like. Um, the bottom one is a bit different. It's not completely a square. It's coming a bit slanted at the back over there on the right-hand side. Over there we have a smaller one, also slanted. And then I think it's just a little triangle one at the top, which is great. And then it's a triangle here in the front. Um, I'd like to get something in the front here to, you know, make it... Can we get there? Yeah, because it's supposed to have a, a long piece coming out of the front, either with a sail or something on top of there. But yeah, that's great. So we've got a ballista here in the front for weapons. But let's not talk about weapons first. Let's head over and uh, we'll see what we put on. So this was one of the new update things a while back. And uh, it's a cargo rack. So it lightens the cargo, but I think 25% lighter. Um, but you can't use it while the ship is not docked. So it says here, must be anchored to add or remove items. So that's going to be great. I put two of these on because this is going to be, you know, a light warship, not warship, just light artillery and um, well, cannons and stuff and a little bit, well, a lot of exploring and hauling things. So ma mainly a merchant ship. So yeah, and uh, I placed this bad boy here, a little ship hanger. So we can put a dinghy on as well as I want to get into the submarine, which requires a lot of different things. So we're going to get into that one of these episodes as well. So yeah, here in the front, I put some water water cans, water barrels. It's been raining, but I don't seem to be filling. Oh, this one is filled up. This one is filled up as well. Oh, that's great. And then over here, it's just a little inside thing here. I don't know what we're going to do in the front here yet. Maybe at least some beds. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. At the back here, we have this massive climbing thing. And now you're like, but wait, how are you going to get inside? The captain's station is over here. I don't like these ropes going through here, but I'm, I guess that's just part of it. You can't really change that. We've got the steering wheel over here. And uh, there, as you can see, there's no doors in the front over here. And now you're like, but wait, how are you going to get inside? Well, oh, no, that's wrong. You just go down here and then ba bam you have a little door coming in here we have some mortar and pestles we've got a smithy we've got some storage in the back over here some storage in the front over here you know all the necessary things you need i have this bad boy over here because i want to make some lanterns to hook onto if we go up over here there's another door to come outside here to the captain's deck or on the top the poop deck just underneath is the captain's area which we have a chair and everything. Um, the problem is I can't place a wall 
over here for some reason. Why? I don't know. So, we're just going to leave it open. It still counts as a house. You can see the house icon, icon there on the right-hand side, so that's great. I put a bed and some personal storage over here so that the crew can't get to it. Is that thing skew? No, it's not. It looks... It's straight. All right. So, yeah, all the way up to the poop deck we can get. Let's just close this door. Oh, we need to place the door there. <laughs> um, let's head down. So... The brig has got three decks, one on top, one here, and one at the bottom. And I've made a bunch of cannons, because we need cannons. And there are 12 here, six on each side. Um, I think they are... Yeah, they're the large cannon. So they're a bit heavier, but they do a lot more damage. So there's 12 of those. Um, we've got an ammunition box over here. Once we get crew, they'll get ammo out of this bad boy. I've placed some... Ballista bolts for the front in there. I think we might add two more ballistas there. Just if we want to go searching for whales or something. It'll be great. And here's a food larder for feeding all the people that are going to work for us. And then we just have an empty deck at the bottom here that we don't know what we're going to do. So currently the weight of this ship is quite great, I think. So 23,000 and we've only used 5,311.8. So, I'm thinking we can get a lot of stuff, you know, shipped around and moved around and, uh, you know, use it as a massive ship hauler. And it's gonna be great. So, yeah, um, on this side I haven't placed anything yet. I don't know if we're gonna add another little ship hanger or dinghy dock right there. But yeah, we've got a ballista up top here. Mount ballista turned. So, this is quite cool. It's going through. I wonder if I should take off this front one. Um, this is about the range it can go. Um, I haven't shot with it yet, so it's pretty cool. I think we might add another one over here and another one over here just to, you know, shoot things because we can. Um, I haven't added the ladders to go all the way up and down, so we'll have to do that and the door and then the lanterns. But yeah, let's head over to our starter base thingy. So yeah, there's the, the Oliphant. That's what I named it. Um, it was... Named after one of Jan van Riebeek's ships, so yeah, um, we'll we'll talk about a, a bit about him a little bit later. A little history information. So yeah, we tamed an Oliphant. It was a level twenty-seven. It took. I hate the taming. It took me about two hours to get this bad boy. <laughs> I don't know why. It shouldn't be that long. It should like take maybe fifteen minutes on our our server speeds and. But still, didn't didn't work out for me all the time. Died a lot. And then we had a bear, which I named Biber. And uh, we have a horse named Paul. Yeah, and that's it. And then we've got two chickens over here. Um, it's called the one. It's called Woody, and the other one is mine. And both males. So yeah, bad luck on that. <laughs> no eggs yet. And yeah, this is just our little starter base. I will destroy it later on, it's just for making things. And we were just getting the brig up and running. So I think what we need to do first off is it's saying invalid settlement flag height. Place a new one ASAP, which I don't know what that means. Um, so can't place settlement flag. Settlement flag is too high above sea level. All right. So that is pretty strange. So should it? So this is the right spot for it. I don't want it to be here, though. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's We'll leave it here for now. We can always destroy it. I think we're going to place it at another spot later on. What? Did you not? Placement here will contest the Silver Company territory. I am the Silver Company. What are you talking about? Do I need to destroy this one? Too high above sea level. E set atlas territory message. Um, one settler. Next upkeep. I don't understand what's going on. Wh why is it saying that? It shouldn't be saying that. Can't place claim flag. Placement here. So place it. Okay. It seems to be broken. Let's just do this. No, I didn't want to pick up things. Um, 
Change settlement flag crew resources to company and allies. Sit. Demolish. I don't know how that's going to work now. Let's see if we can place this one over here. Uh, right in the corner here. Okay, there we go. So, that worked, it seems. Successfully unclaimed. Alright, claiming territory. Alright, anyway. <laughs> Let's just leave that and let it keep going. So I want to head out. Um, I want to see if I can get some... We got we got a bunch of maps. I've just been running around getting some maps. Doing a little bit of treasure hunting. As I showed in a previous video. So yeah, it's been fun. I mean, it is a fun game. It's It's a lot of work, but it's a fun game. And I think we should release this ship. And we should see if we can head out slowly. Because... When I place this, it's very deep down here. So we previously we had it on the other side there and it was pretty shallow. But here it is like crazy deep and uh, I want to go out and turn to the right there. So it's going to be a quick turn. So let's just... Let me get... Oh, oh. Let me finish the... Let me get a door and all that and uh, then let's release this ship. All right, and we're back. So it is raining now. They're saying watch out for cyclones. But uh, we're going to release the ship. Um, I put some doors on and some windows at the top. Um, I built these ladders as well. But uh, the top one seems like a death trap. You can't get down. <laughs> um, you just fall all the way down. Anyway, let's just uh, release the ship. There we go. And it's going to be... Going to be? Going to be PvP. Um... Let's name it the Dromadaris, which is the ship that uh, Jan van Riebeek, the guy who discovered Southern Africa. Oh, did I need to put another name there? I don't think so. Can we rename it? Uh, ship options. Access ship, skull ship, back to ship. No, so you can't rename it. Um, everything seems to be in order. Officers 1, Sailors 0, Total Crew 1 of 16. So it can only take 16 crew. That might be a bit of a problem. We'll, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So first things first, what I wanted to tell you is, yeah, so I named the ship the Dromedaris because the guy who discovered Southern Africa, his name is Jan van Riebeek, and he, there we go, the Dromedaris looks great. He um, came from the Netherlands in 1651. Just a little bit of his history for you. Um, in December 1651 and arrived here on the 5th of April 1652. They saw land and the 6th of April they were here. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a little bit of history and I think I'm going to name all my ships. The Oliphant is one of his ships as well. And uh, the next ship we build, I think we'll name, give it the same name. So yeah, you see there at the back, we can see the table and everything. Can't get for through for some reason. Don't know why that is, but... Oh, can we get out of K? But yeah, that's it. Um, maybe they should fix that so you can at least get better things. No, don't fully open sales. Open sales, 10%. Are we going to move forward a little bit? It doesn't look like it. I think we chose a bad time to get out. Let's just wait for <laughs> the storm to pass a bit. Alright, seems like the storm has passed, so let's open... Oh, we mo we're moving a bit. Get onto the steering wheel quickly. Quickly. Are we going out? Slowly. Well, that's what I want. I, I want to get out slowly. Oh, look at us. Just sailing away. I love it. It's great. We need a, we need a beautiful screenshot. There we go. Look at that. Sailing our new ship. Okay, so... Is that it? Are we, are we done now? Not going any further because the wind is turning like crazy. I hate that. I hate when the wind is at the back. So let's just do that. See if that works. This is gonna be hard work. Running the ship like this. <laughs> is it open? Are we moving? Maybe we should open it some more. Just get out of here. Fully open sails. This is gonna be bad. Maybe the handling sail at the front would have been a better option. 
Come on, buddy. Come on, Dromadaris. Get out of there. Yeah, we need something pointy in the front. I think this ship is missing the pointiness, and maybe there is something we can get for that. Oh, that's the dog. Sorry. It's just going crazy, as usual. Barking at people. Alright, so let's make it turn. Can we do it? So there's no K mode, I think. I don't think for this ship there's a K mode. Well, not a K mode. Like a third person. Because I can't seem to zoom in or out anywhere here. And on the schooner, there is. You can you can see everything from the back. Okay, so we're turning and we're getting there. Now I have to sail to a free port. I don't know where the free ports are. So, but I think there's one in B2, which is... Oh, we need a bear. Damn it. Okay, let's drop the anchor. Can we drop the anchor? Fully closed cells. Okay, this is... This is getting intense. I don't want to bump it or do anything, but... Pretty sure I can get the bear to... Jump from up top there onto the ship, onto the boat. Um, okay, are you ready now? Can we drop anchor here? How do we drop anchor? It says there. X to drop anchor. I think we're at the wrong spot, maybe. All right, let's just let me go get the bear. Okay, we did it. We're back in action. Let's fully open the sails. Let's rotate them the other way. And then let's head out and see if we can find a free port. I just want to see how fast this baby goes full speed. Um, I think there is a way to check. I don't know if it's knots per hour or something like that. Can we get out of here with any problems? I wonder how fat a galleon is to get through here. It might be a struggle. <laughs> okay, we're going... Really slow. We do have a level up for the, s the ship, the Dromedaris. So let's go fully open sails over here as well. Rotate sails to that way. And this bad boy as well. Rotate sails there and fully open. They have to run all the way back. We need crew. We need crew badly. Okay, game mode. Let's see if we're not hitting anything. Oh, that looks amazing. It looks so great. Look at us, sailing away into the nothingness. Are we hitting some? No, we're fine. We're fine. All right, our ship looks great. We do need to paint things. Um, But yeah, let me head out, find a free port and see if we can hire some crew or do some things. I'm loving this bad boy. It looks so fat and nice in the water. <laughs> it's great. Let's go, Dromedaris. All right, people, and we are back, and we're just over here. Um, let me just show you where we are before I get distracted again. We're with loud music. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we're just over here on this little island in B2. Um, I can't remember the name. Let's just see here. Collie's Nest. Yeah, Kelly's Nest. Okay, so there's a free port over here, and uh, this is where we pitched up. The Dromedars over there. Um, it was pretty slow getting here, but I mean, it was probably just because of the wind. So this is just a shipyardsman, and you can get a a little sloop and a a raft from him. Yeah, you can just put the materials in him. You can get that. Someone is making fart noise. We do have a little bit of gold, and um, I think here is the crew recruiter. So. Costs five gold per crew member. We're gonna need one for each mast for now, and then we're gonna need another one for the steering wheel. Let's get six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Okay, I know I'm a bit overboard, but that's fine. Um, so we have a bunch of crew here. Feared Alex Nine Toes. Okay, well, maybe having 
True cost one gold coin every 5.3 hours. Is that all of your prices? Okay, great. So don't follow me as yet. Just stand there because we just want to explore the rest of the... What is this? The free port. Yeah. So there's another guy over here. And I wonder how this works. Travel destinations. Um, back. So you can't do it. Travel destinations. There's nothing. That's... What a waste. What do you mean there's nothing? What is this over here? So nothing. Okay. So... Why? What happened? I can't do turn around 360 anymore? It's... <laughs> It's stuck. I can't go any more left. What? Oh, is it because there's a bear? No, it's not. Wh why? Game? Why do this? Why do this? Anyway. Oh, I can't turn that way as well. That's ridiculous. Wait a minute. I feel this game is so broken because I struggled to with the on the the brig as well on the Dromedaris. And um, while I was sailing, it was a big problem for me to walk forward on the boat. I kept, like, running in one place. So, cosmetic vendor. Let's see here. Clothing, cosmetic skins, army of the damned. Okay, not too expensive. It's pretty cool. Cool things. So, I'm guessing these are just skins for current outfits. Cyclops heavy. Cool, cool, cool. Hydra fur. Uh, that one looks pretty nice. Hydra heavy. This one looks very good. Pirate. That's the one we want. So can this go on to anything? Left hook. Yes, we want left hook. Let's have a right leg as well. Okay, let's see how that works. Um, officer. Cool hat, though. But I want... Army of the Damned looks the coolest for me. Is this the hat? Helmet skin. Pants skin. Gauntlet. Damn, chest piece. Yeah, I don't know what it... How it connects on. Let's see the other things. Magical. Put this magical artifact in your item slot and use it when the appropriate creature is near death. To instantly bend that creature to your will. However, the creature's lifespan will be severely limited as a result. Okay. It's 40,000 coin. We can't can't do that. Ship figureheads. <gasps> this is what we wanted. Oh my goodness. That's a blade? Oh, I'll have to get 400 gold. Um, this is crazy. Let's, I'm going to have to do this. Okay, let me go and get 400 gold. Let's get the crew. Chip steering wheels. Oh, we can change the steering wheel. What is this one? Hydra. Uh, let's get the bone. We're wasting all our gold. We've only got 50 gold left, and these guys take. Gonna cost me 8 gold a day. Uh, so we've got 5 days left. Um, okay. Whistle follow all. Let's go. Let's get on the bear and go. Come on, crew members. Alright, so we got them all on the boat, and, uh,. They're busy sweeping, all of them. This one has got very nice pink... Well, not pink, purple boots. Purple pink boots. Um, Long Joe Senior. <sighs> okay. Um, I like the names. Feared Alex Nine Toes. Pretty Charlotte. Okay, Charlotte. Um, so, let's get one over here. How do we do this? No. What are What are you? Angry Bob Nine Toes? Okay. Angry Bob, use steering wheel. Alright, Angry Bob is on the steering wheel. Um, Bowdy Alex, use white cell large. Use... No. I want you to use white cell large. Is that... 
This one already taken? Okay, you come with me. We have to be close to it. Come on. Okay. Can we now say use weight cell large? Use weight cell large. Okay, great. G bearded Sue Silver. Great name. Come on, Sue. Ah, uh, Sue. Thank you, Sue Silver. Oh, you might be my wife. I don't know. All right, so let's go. Use handling cell. Okay, so we're all of them are on the cells that we need. These ones are walking around. I'm gonna get this one to use large cannon, and you can use the large cannon as well. You can use the large cannon as well. And then I'm guessing crew costs one gold coin every 5.7 hours. So I'm guessing that one is just going to sit around and just clean the stuff. Um, I guess that's what it should be. So we're going to go out. Oh, first let's look at this. See if this is cool. No, not K. Info. How do we... Oh, you can put it on the leg there. Oh, that's great. Look at that. <laughs> it's amazing. Where is the other one? I want it. So cool. You get 10, so we've used 9. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, that is so great. That looks amazing. I love it. Just like a pirate. Oh, that's so awesome. So cool. Okay, so time is running out. Um, let's put the steering wheel cover on and see what that looks like. And then maybe in the next episode when we do... Oh, the steering wheel looks amazing with the bones. Holy crap, that looks great. Look at that. It's even got a skull and everything. Okay, so maybe in the next episode we will... Um, so can I stand here and command things? All right, can we go K mode? I, I hate that you can't... Am I doing something wrong? So anchor up, please. Um, how do we control the steering wheel now? How do I say go left, go right? Do I have to be... Doing the steering wheel thing? That's weird. Um, is it turning? Clearly not turning. Um, let me figure this out. Okay, so I couldn't figure out how to do it from the captain's podium up there. It just doesn't work and uh, I don't know why. So let's fully open the cells and we're going to get out of here. I'm going to... Head somewhere where we, can, where we can do some some treasure hunting, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So, are the sails fully open now? We hold shift, and then they turn the sails. Okay, that's great. Yeah, amazing. So the ship, it's not crazy fast. It's not, but I mean, it's okay, I guess. Um, and now, Did we beach something. That's crazy always <laughs> whenever i want to show something it's always bull crap come on just get out of here <clears throat> go 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 let me show the people how fast the ship goes and you guys are just going screwing around new things okay so let's go came out again yeah so it's it's not too slow not too fast um i think it'll do once we get our cannons up and running, things will be great. Um, also, what I wanted to see if it's working or not, is if I... Oh, now I can run around without any problems. I had lagging. It was an issue. But we have to... Oh, crap. We have to feed our boatsmen. And we also have to put some gold at the bottom. I think it goes... 
Is it over here? Oh, these guys are on the cannons, so I can only fire from the one side. So this is ship resource box. Does it go in here? Gold. And I'm guessing the food goes in the food larder. Um, boom, 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 boom. That's it. That's that's the way it goes. Now they should be getting paid. We shouldn't have a mutiny on our hands. Um, where are we sailing to? What's happening up here? <laughs> Let's just have a look. Okay, so... Oh, this thing looks great. I love it. I don't know why I can't control the things and say, listen here, go that way, go this way. But yeah, it is what it is. Alright people, but I think um, that is where we're going to end this episode off. It's been great. I love the brig. It needs to get painted. We first need to find some more crystal to build a grill and do a lot of things. It's going quite fast. I mean, it's not a bad speed. I don't like that the one cell, the front handling cell is going through the other cell. That's a bit weird. We got crew going and uh, I'll probably get some more crew to fill up the cannons. We'll have to get ammo for the cannons as well. I need to find some coal. We have some coal on our island, but not a lot. Alright, but uh, that's going to be it for this episode, people. In the next episode, um, the ship might be changed. We might have the front nose that was 400 bucks over there, and uh, it looked great, but we have to go buy that. So yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, people. If you enjoyed this one, remember to watch the next one, and the one after that, and have a great sailing day. Bye-bye, people!